Rams at Arizona Cardinals. Arizona's a one and a half point favorite. They open as a two and a half point underdog. Teams to open as the underdog and close as the favorite. 42% against the spread since 2018. One and one so far this year, Vikings and Browns in week one. Look, I thought the Rams were outperformed. I thought the Rams outperformed the Lions, especially in the second half. Like I said, Stanf Stafford knew he was going to get rocked if he didn't get rid of the ball, and he did that brilliantly. They really only yeah. lost just because at the end of the day, the Lions are a better team. Arizona came out hot and then did what Arizona always does. It made the mistakes. I don't think their defense is good enough. And I think there's enough on film for the Rams to figure out, okay, here's what we can do against the Cardinals. And I was really impressed with the Rams defense in that game. Make this line a pick. So obviously when it opened, I was like, okay, we'll, we'll be on the Cardinals here. Now, like Chad just said, it's moved so much. The Rams are probably the play here, but it's like, man, this this is a coin flip game. There really isn't that much value either side to me, and I think you did nail it, Chad, where it's like both defenses are terrible. So whoever has the ball last, they win and cover this number, right? And that's, yeah. to, to us, that's impossible for us to know. Um, you know, my safe cowardly play here, it's the T's number. It's perfect. It's it's minus one and a half. It's plus one and a half right now for the Rams. You can take it up to seven and a half. So do it. T take that take that teaser right now and take it up to seven and a half because Chad just nailed it. It's like I, I don't know how professionals don't come in on the Rams at this point. How do, how does that money not come in on them as this week goes along here? Because you just said it. It's like okay, the Rams' big weakness right now. What's failing them is their offensive line and all those injuries. Who, who's taking advantage of that for this Arizona team? Yeah. We just watched it. I mean, I know it's Josh Allen. It's like he's the ultimate cheat code, but they had no push up front. And especially that second half when they got tired, like their legs were just gone by the second half. So, um, yeah, Chad, this maybe on Thursday, I'll, I'll have a clear view on it right now. But I hate when it's just these one, one and a half numbers where it's like, I don't really feel like I'm getting any value here. You know, maybe we'll get it like the Colts, right? Maybe the the bets will come in on Arizona and we'll get it up to two and a half. Such a key number and we'll take the Rams there. But um, one and a half, I'm just teasing this number. Look, I think Arizona is still a trendy public dog. I think people love them against the Bills. And I think the way they performed against the Bills is going to have people more excited and more enthusiastic. I'm hopeful this number will move in our direction because I would... I would like to take the Rams in this spot. I'm not, I'm purposely not talking about tickets and money percentages yet because it's still just too early. Like there's nothing. To yeah, be it's, it's too early for that. You know, so like I, I don't, I know people like it when I do that. I'm just, there's not, there's not enough volume. Once, once the public gets weeded out, like in four or five weeks, yes. then we can really do the Tuesday money because that's, that's literally professional money. Well, we yes. better read on it right now. It's still the mixed bag early in the season, kind of everyone's like, you know, throwing the money around early in the year.